hello and welcome to Explain Eleven. I'm Andy, and this is the last play of last play, last episode of our uh, procedures section on uh, Columbia 400 or Cervalis 400, uh, System 400. Anyway, um, so firstly, disclaimer: I'm not a pilot. I'm not a certified flight instructor. This is not a tutorial on how to fly a real plane. This is a tutorial on how to fly one way of flying a uh, X-plane plane. So. Uh, links to everything is in the description. Uh, links to this model, links to this airport, uh, West Point. We're gonna change the time a little bit actually. So we got in the middle of the day, so like so. Um, it's in the description. A link to the pilot operating handbook, which we will follow, is also in the description. Also, link to the flight planning software uh, Excel document we used on last version is there. So any things you find me wrong, please put that in the description. I'm glad to evolve and be better stuff. So um, first, our normal operations section of the pilot operating handbook is is on pa uh, section four, normal procedures, and we'll start out uh, some good. Well, there's some information about normal climb out. Our position is 110 knots, take off position 8 knots. Um, climb to altitude, normal, normal climb is 110 knots, which flaps up. Uh, approach landing, normal approach is 105 to 110 knots, 85 to 90 knots when the approach flaps are in the down position. And short field landing is 80 knots, so 85 to 90 we'll be using on this flight. Um, and this flight will take us from. Uh, I'm going to show you. Get the section up uh, right here. So, so we're going to take off from West Point. We'll do an IFR flight down to. Actually, we set up the wrong altitude. We're going to do 8,000. We'll fly for 8,000, which is only the first leg. We'll do 7,000, I think. The rest of it. It's lower. We'll need. Slightly less fuel climbs, that sort of stuff, so sh fuel should be okay anyway. Um, we have added fuel anyway, so it's a problem. And then down to Elizabeth City down here. So we're planning to use 28 on both uh, airports. Should be a problem, and we'll do, I guess, climb to 7,000 feet. But first, uh, we need. Uh, and the wind's okay, maximum atmospheric crosswind velocity is take off 23 knots and land in 23 knots, so that's not a problem. We had, I think, uh, 6 and 8, if I remember correctly. So, but anyway, we'll start outside first, and we'll start here, beside pre flight inspection. Um, first, we'll check the pitot tube cover, remove and store. Uh, required aircraft, do uh, aircraft documents are available in the airplane. We are now section 5, section 4, page 4. Mixed, uh, so we'll go inside actually. So, avionics mission switch is off. Check. Avionics master is off. This is the avionics master, in case you're wondering. Um, mixture is caught off. Um, cross tie switch off. This is cross tie. That sh will only be used on if you have ground power or if you have an alternator failure or something in flight. Otherwise, you will it will always be off. Left battery switch is off. Right battery switch is off. Uh, a pilot trim switch is checked on the overhead. As it should be. Oh, to tell. This one. It's off too. It, it turns on automatically. We don't have to do anything in this plane. Uh, flaps are set for take off the landing position. Actually, sorry. Turn these on. That's the problem. And then we'll go flaps. Take off. Check that looks okay. And down to landing. Looks okay. Good. Uh, trim tabs neutral. We don't trim tab here, so neutral. 
Check. Put the fucking back on. Um, fuel quantity, check fuel quantity. So 23 or so, 20, slightly over 20, that's okay. Uh, fuel on station on displayed, nothing on the display there. Um, oxygen system not required. Um, pitot heat, improperly heat. Works. Um, exterior lights. Check that. That's it on here. Good. Turn this on where we won't see anything. Turn everything off. Storm only main would can't do that. Pino heat and the next year lights off. Sorry, do that. Left and right battery switches are set off. So now we can do the outside inspection. So we'll start here. Um, flaps, check proper extension and security hardware. Left wing tie down, remove. Um, aileron, check movement, condition, security. Move over a little bit. Um, fuel vent check for obstruction. No, sorry. Either and server tab check for proper operation. Static mix click check for installation and condition. Wing tip check for look, look damage. Nothing good. Front leading edge, wing edge, leading edge, leading edge tape, triangular shape, leading edge tape, stall stripes check. Look for damage. Fuel vent check for obstructions. Landing light -like check. Look for lens cracks, cracks and check security. That's here. Landing light. Uh, fuel quantity, check visually and secure fuel tap. Stall warning vein, check for free movement. Wing to fuel drain, check contamination. Uh, left main strut and tire check. Uh, <coughs> main fuel drain and escalator access door inspection panel. So, no section. Left windscreen, car exhaust check. Engine oil check levels. Uh, maintain between 6 and 8 quarts. Fill to 8 quarts for extended flight. Engine oil filler cap and accessory door cap and accessory door is secure. Propeller spinner check. Alternator belt check. Nose wheel strut check for inflation. That looks good. Nose tie down removed. Right windscreen car flaps check. Connected. So, uh, right wing leading edge. Wing fuel drain check. Uh, right main strut tire leaning edge. Um, fuel quantity check. Fuel vent. Pitot heat check. Wing tip check, aileron check, movement. We wiggle it a little bit. Um, aileron train time check, static wicks check, right wing town on removed, flaps check, maintenance bottom fuselage check, static port check for blockage, nothing. Uh, tail section, leaning edge of horizontal and vertical surfaces check, leaning edge tape check, a zigzag tape, antennas vertical stabilizer check for security, uh, rod elevator hardware check. Popping his head up and down in the cockpit. Um, fixed elevator surfaces check, elevator surfaces check, elevator trim tank check, rental fin check, static wicks check for installation, tile try and tie down removed. And we'll go around here and we'll check baggage door. Check the close and close that. We need to close it by doing this. So, baggage door closed. Uh, fire extinguisher check presence and security. Crash axe check that's before in the cockpit there. Okay, so we're ready to start moving. So we'll go inside and now we'll start pre-flight starting engine. Pre-flight inspection that's completed. Fresh air vents are closed. These. I don't think you can do anything on this that mod not modeled. Uh, seat belts and shoulder harness is secure. It's just us. We're on. Fuel selector. Is that at your left tank? Uh, avionics master switch is off. Uh, cross ties switch verify off. Brakes instead and set. Uh, and this in in this, if you look at the pages in the POH which are in links, um, that's for per handle brake 
probably can break this as a button, but still sort of the same. Circuit break is checked in, so down here. That looks good. Oxygen mask not applicable now. Passenger briefing are not applicable. No passenger. So we'll start in a cold engine. Um, we'll set first mixture to rich. Close the door. Makes a lot of sound. Uh, so mixture to rich, propeller, high RPM. Check. Um, vapor suppression off. This is vapor suppression. Induction heated air off. Can okay, some not simulated. Throttle closed, then open a Approximately one inch. So, left and right body switches on. And collision position lights are on. No, it's true. Position lights on. Uh, primary switch, which is down here, will uh, push that in for five seconds. That's not similar. You press one, so one, two, three, four. Five and press another one to get it to release. Uh, throttles closed and open, eight, one eighth inch. So it's just a tiny bit. Two one eight one eighth to one fourth inch. Check propeller clear. And ignition switch to start. Go. Then we're gonna start up. Uh, throttle last to 1000, so slightly low, lower actually. 1000 RPM here. Yeah, that's pretty okay. Oil pressure, I see oil pressure is here, it's in the green. And oil temperature is rising. And then left, right alternator switches are on. Good. And uh, the difference between starting hot and cold engine is the priming, I guess, mostly. Um, there's a checklist for that if you want to do that. Could you also use vapor suppression? Uh, so after any check, any start checklist, um, avionics switch is on. Engine indications. Uh, check here. So. System is rising temperature. We're really gonna wait for that. PSI is okay. Fuel CHA is low too, but that's normal for such a cold start. Um, emitters, ammeters, maybe. We've we'll got systems like here. Voltage should be at least 24 volts. Um, highest 31, I think, but at least 24, and that's both. Older than 24 volts, so that's good. Uh, uses below 9 volts, it starts shutting down the PFD and MFD. And 8 volts needs power to, s and you can't power anything pretty much. So if it gets lower, you need to shut some buses. But this is quite okay. 24 below above 24 volts is 26.4 on both alternates. It's not a problem. MFD fuel remaining, and that's not simulated. Videos and required avionics such as quiet so com radios will do 128 that's set and we'll use we'll set up uh, Hopewell first 1120 so uh, we'll go 1120 here um, we'll just set that temporarily and then we'll Franklin 1106 so we have the first uh, beacons on nav 1 and uh, on uh, the back standby we have a second beacon radio beacon so that's good and we need to do our flight planning Just start our timer I forgot the timer So we'll go flight plan, we have an old flight plan here, we can clear that, go menu, and we'll go down to delete flight plan, enter. So KFYJ shows up pretty easily uh, by itself. Next waypoint is each, each uh, Hopewell, which is hotel, Papa, 
and whiskey. Hope well. Enter. Enter. And then we need uh, next waypoint is a waypoint called wakes. So W first whiskey and alpha India Kilo Sierra Weeks Check uh, looks good on the numbers there too and then it's on to Franklin so uh, and that's Fox dot kilo November kilo November Franklin and then we can actually go and we'll do next two waypoints too because you know, and on all the way down to listed the town VOR. So next waypoint is drone and so Delta Romeo Oscar November drone. Drone, and then we'll go to Suns S U N N S. So Suns Zero Sierra Uniform and November November and Sierra. And it's in US, yeah, US. Yes. Okay, and then it's down to Elizabeth Town, which is e Echo's Charlie Golf. So Echo, Echo, Charlie Golf. Elizabeth City, check. And then it's the Airport, which is Kilo uh, Echo Echo Charlie Call. Good. So now we have our flight plan ready. I'm going to do a straight takeoff and then um, just climb directly to our destination. So uh, now I've set uh, PFTN backup FMEs, flight plan loaded. Altitude and heading bugs, so we'll go that and we'll go um, we'll go six seven seven thousand feet. We'll set a heading bug to two eight zero or so. Good. Actually we're gonna set off the inset no not the inset. Um mm -hmm. Menu actually, no, it's in the menu. PFD wind. I don't like that. Uh, I like that better. So, I can do some stuff here, on that, which pretty is pretty cool. So, LQ hang set, set transponder, set code, and that's transponder code. We'll do 22200, and we'll do and actually we turn it on so ready to taxi go back okay so transponder set and oxygen quantity not required so cross tie operation we don't need to do that speed record no need no autopilot auto trim operations so autopilot engage The trim is moving. 
as it should be. Apply forward pressure. Show trim knows up after three seconds. Doesn't do that, I'm probably not simulated. So every there's like a section here where you can set it up, but I don't think it's simulated, so we won't do that. Because it's not simulated. So but there's a section here when you ensure the autopilot is working as it is. Um or, uh, ground operations for air condition that's not simulated either, so no point, is, otherwise it's down there. Um, before taxi, engine instruments, check. So we'll go here. Systems, actually reaching almost green there, everything is starting, CHG is good, so we're green temperatures, okay. Uh, fuel gauges, check as they should be. Uh, which is clearance with uh, in accordance in accordance with what we loaded. I mean, this is charging, charging, uh, wing flaps, takeoff, not oh, easy. Takeoff and then up. Radio clearance is quite tax light. Uh, turn it on. And brakes released. So, two eight is to our left. So we need taxi to go. Two, sorry, so to our right, left. So, uh, this is sort of weird. I don't know why we're turning. In a real plane, it's a casted wheel, so we brake by differential braking, but. In explain you can turn by just turning the um, rudder. So, but in real life it's differential braking because it has a casted wheel. So we'll take it down to the runway and we'll do a run up there. So we'll check the brakes. Seem to work. PFD and flight instruments. Accordance, uh, wings, take off, check, indicated, and turn coordinator is working. Um, Directing gyro is check for proper operation, so that was working. And then next is look. There's a little skydiving friend. I wonder if they, this only seems to be one skydiver at the time. Seems like an expensive lift to run. It used to be skydiving, that's why I like skydiving. Hey, you landed. It's cool. This is a very cool airport. I really, you should really try it out and download it if you need to, want to. Because it's such a cool airport. So, next. Checklist next procedure is to before takeoff checklist, which is the run up, and then we provide which is quite long. Then it's ready for we can take off, and then we'll fly a little flight over to Elizabeth City. So it's a 30 minute, I think 39 minutes flight according to the flight plan. I like this plane, it's really beautiful. So let's see, uh, the winds was at 250. I think so. We should head, in, head into wind 250 and then park and brake, and then we'll do the run up there. There's lots of stuff here. A helicopter? That's like a MI. 18 or am I 17? Uh, 17, right? <laughs> Funny. Don't know if they have a lot of MI MIs there. In Richmond. I think we're in Richmond or no, close to Richmond. Virginia anyway. So we'll do our run up here. It's a pretty good spot, I think.
So parking brake set. So run up position, maximum heading. Parking brake set, uh, flight controls, free and correct. Earlier on, you can see a little bit of the tail there. You can see it, you can feel it at least. Um, flight controls check, cross switch. Uh, cross switch tie is off. Cross tie switch. The autopilot is no on, doesn't simulate, but it's on. Uh, autopilot is verified and disengaged. It's off. PFT and backup flight instruments cross check and set. We need to set our altitude, which is 29, 29.90. That was good. 29.90. So, fuel selector is set out in detail and the church is in there. We go left there. So, the left is the fuel, the one with the most fuel in it. And there's some fuel selector, it's the fullest tank, and cover door is closed. Latch, check. Uh, any run up, so show that all temperature is in the green first, which it is above 100 at least, which it is. So we can spool up to 1700 RPM. Okay, so and here's the problem because it doesn't have a key there, so otherwise, I would do the magnetos check, but I can't really do that. So, um, then you switch left positions and right, right positions, we'll do that. We won't simulate that. Uh, maximum R 25 RPM or maximum 150 RPM um, um, both in between those. Uh, EGC should rise. We're not going to simulate that because it's not working. Ignition switch, then left, right. Uh, propeller, check operation, cycle two or three times with 300 to 500 RPM drop. So. Actually, a lot much more, but uh, it's probably a simulation problem. Right, what? Hey. Uh, engine instruments, instruments check. Good. And batteries, very good charge. That's okay. Throttle, verify idle, 900. Lumen switch bulb test, all lights lumen not simulated. Radius chat check cross check that's checked. Transponder verify code and that's alt. Wing flaps take up position. Verify visually and indicated. The speed brake switch is verified is off. No speed brakes are out. Um, doors are latched into tent, detent, check. PFT and the window all message addressed. Nothing there. Door seals on. It's a button here which we don't have in simulated. Uh, on the real one is a button. Uh, backup fuel pump is armed. We'll go like this. Uh, oxygen system is not simulated. Used. Maximum cannon on. Uh, flow meters. Check and adjust for increase. Okay. Time noted. Break release. So now we can take off. I'm just going to run the takeoff checklist before so we know what will happen. Dining lights off. On. Um, wing flaps, takeoff position, mixture full rich, backup fuel pump armed, pitot heat and propeller heat as required, total advance slowly to 2600 rpm, watch manifold pressure indicator of over boost, elevator control lift and nose at 75 knots, climb speed accelerate to best rate of climb at 10, 110 knots, wing flaps retract at 400 feet or above 95 knots. So that's what will happen. First, we'll take off the bracket brake and we'll go. Turn here. And 
run to our on the runway down here. We'll turn the strobe lights on and landing lights on. So no traffic. Anyway. So we have lots of runway to spare. If you remember our flight planning in the last episode, so park here. So um Wing flax, verified normal, mixture, full rich, check, propeller, full opera, um, um, you see backup fuel pump is armed, no, full rich, backup fuel pump is armed, pinot heat is off, throttle, advanced salary, okay, 75 and 110 and 95 or 400 feet. So, advance slowly. Wobbly flight. Seventy five, rotate and climb. I wonder why th that didn't really make sense. Uh, it should be in height. I missed the height, sorry about that. So, four hundred feet at least before cleaning up. Turn off the tax light though. 100 feet, flaps up, accelerate to 110 knots, we can turn on our way, slightly off the speed there, we'll just turn there a little bit and then we'll head on back to our pace there. So the altitude, I don't know why that didn't add up to the real altitude. There we go. Heading. So, so we're gonna engage the autopilot. First we're gonna fly change. We're gonna go nav. Autopilot is on. Nav. Why are we there? So, no, we're just sending. So, flight stage 116, we can do 110 for climb speed. And we can start our. Um, let's reduce the power a little bit. And the manifold pressure, keep that in green. I will be climbing away. So, and we have nav engaged, GPS, flight change, one then, the altitude, altitude is 7,000 feet set and ready. So, that's the takeoff checklist. Normal climb, airspeed, accelerate to best climb, 110 knots, set, power setting, adjust as necessary, fuel selector set right or left. We'll keep it on the uh, left one. Um, mixture, full rich, above 85% power, sure. That's on. Back of fuel pump is still armed. Vapor suppression on above 18,000 feet. That's not needed. Oh, we're climbing away. I don't know what the altitude or its problem. I didn't I guess it didn't update the altitude for some reason. We can go and actually go into the menu here and see. Uh, go here and then we'll go down toward the south there. I think maybe this is oh here it is. So we could actually go and check it out here what altitude setting the simulator thinks we actually have. Thirty thirteen, which is not the way it is set in real life currently. That's not real weather, but we'll set that thirteen thirteen. Five thousand feet. Climb 
Anyway, it's pretty fast playing this. I mean, it climbs like a rocket. You turn, I did maybe turn, yeah, turn off the tax lights. Keep an eye on the fuel. We could actually turn it to the right there. So, vapor, if you want to turn the, ch uh, change the fuel tanks, vapor suppression on. Turn right, see that it's stable, it is. Turn it off. So I like the way it has flight change mode, so you can uh, set it to the speed you want it to hold, and it will hold that very nicely by climbing. Check our flight plan page. HP wakes FKM drone sounds easy. So will be pretty fast flight. We haven't set any altitude set up here, so I will just climb away from here. So I like the way you can change stuff. I mean, if you want to change the back, you can have non topo. You could zoom out, or zoom in. Sorry. Like so, if you want to, I use topo. It's sometimes hard to see the designator. We could always um, declutter it if you want to. That's one way of doing it. See, 7,000 feet. So, so our cruise probably actually go to 8,000, considering. Our heading currently. Vertical speed will do nose up. Thousand feet. That's almost as yes, thousand feet. Then then we turn when we turn suddenly direction will go down to seven thousand feet. So stay out of the clouds. A little bit. Flight plan is this is short flight. It's not like what is it, one seven one oh seven nautical miles, so it's not a long flight, but it's kind of a nice even flight to do. I want to scroll thing. I want to like do on scroll scrolling things on here. Um, so almost eight thousand feet. We'll intercept that again and then we'll go to our cruise setting. So we need to go find our performance page, which I think is performance. We'll go 8,000 feet, we'll do cruise at 8. eight thousand feet. So if we look at that's uh, Section 5, page 23, we will go 2400 RPM, so we'll set that first. So 24 RPM, 100 RPM. We'll go 26 on the manifold pressure, so and that's pretty much there. Good, 26, and we could lean the engine. So we'll start leaning. Let me turn the fuel pumps off first. We're just gonna go and check the little. Normal sections. Let's so check the cruise settings first. So cruise, uh, first um, throttle set as approaches is to 85% power, that's set. Uh, propeller set 85, that's 2400, mixture lean as required. So we'll go m lean here, we'll lean until it tops out. So I'm leaning using the, the keyboard. And I'll see that rise here in the temperature. 
see the fuel flow. Okay. I don't know what that means. Um, so the fuel flow will reduce and TIT will rise. I'll keep it in the green. No hurry, we'll do this slowly. Almost coming up to the turn there. Thirteen point five. I think that's okay. We got uh, thirteen point one gallons per. So we're in the green. Actually, we need to slow down slightly because we're getting oh, we're speeding. So we're turning. So we'll descend to seven thousand feet. And 500 feet per minute. Juice power a little bit. I don't know what happened to my frame. No, that's okay. This is clouds, I think. Clouds are screwing up my frames. Okay, so um, mixture lean as required. Back of fuel off. If you're changing fuel tanks, so we'll do that. We we'll turn on. We've done that already. The vapor suppression set. On during fuel tank changeovers, fuel set it changes. Landing lights that is required. Um, oxygen quantity check periodically. We don't need the flow the altitude change. Adjust devices new altitude. So, the next checklist is our descent, but that's a little bit off. We need to first taxi, not taxi, fly. We can check out flight plan here. Wakes, FKN, drone, suns, ECG. 14.87 with ground speed of 174 so that's not a huge I mean it's pretty okay but not like a, a huge it's not the fastest of fastest currently well keeping keeping it when the in within the greens so I don't think you get an ETA in this unfortunately I don't know can you get an ETA menu Collapsed airways. Uh, I didn't add the airways, I guess. That's probably a way to add airways too, if you want to. No, don't do that. I, I want to get out of this. Oh, sorry. Okay, so. And profile. I think you could change that. There's standard that procedures. We could check to set up the arrival. It's not. We're not like a huge amount of distance away. So uh, Elizabeth Town has a nice on arrival to to eight. So we'll use that. Um, We'll go in a two. -y. So we'll arrival approach first. We don't. That's no arrival procedure, but there is an approach procedure. But there, that's not set up here. So sorry. Oh well. No, oh, sorry. I'm silly. Arrival. So arrival. Uh, sorry, approach. So on our two eight. Set that up. We'll use Natui as initial uh, approach fix. Minimums will do that's 400 feet. Can I switch that? No. Can I set that up? We don't, we'll only have paramedic pressure here. So, because we don't have a radar altimeter, of course. So that would be uh, 370. So 370. 
it's kind of cool. I, li I like the way you can set everything up here. And enter and load. And then we're gonna do we're gonna change something. We're gonna actually when we get to ECG or after we press suns, we're gonna go uh, activate the approach and we'll go directly to. Um, just to make it slightly easier, slightly shorter. Raise the speed slightly. Oh, the clouds are so slow. The clouds are making stuff really slow. That's the problem. I, I wish there was, was a way to turn down the, the way the clouds function. Or to change the texture for something that counts has a little less on it. Uh, this is one thing. The, I think it's the elevator trim tab on the right side, which goes up for some reason. It doesn't affect the flying in a way. Just slightly annoying. Are we we are heading to wakes and then we're gonna go range. Actually we I'm gonna fake it. Should have could fake it and go directly to E. Some planes flying around here. Interesting. Someone there's someone actually quite close to our level thousand feet off so at eight thousand feet going northerly so, um, so I'm gonna divide this up into two episodes um, because it's boring part this so uh, thank you for watching the first episode of the normal procedures and uh, next episode we're gonna do the approach and landing and stuff we set up somewhat already but anyway Thank you for watching and see you next episode. I'm Andy. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this episode, please hit like button, leave a comment or share. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.